don't usually get personal on this channel. Even before I made movie videos and just posted my vacation edits, I wouldn't show much about me personally. But after watching Life of Crime, I feel compelled to be more candid and speak up. The disease of substance abuse is not talked about enough. Having witnessed family members succumb to their weaknesses over the years has been hard. Knowing people who died from just one hit. Addiction needs to be talked about and Life of Crime does just that. This documentary follows three people from Newark, New Jersey between 1984 to 2020. Their names are Freddie, Robert, and Delirious. Seeing their youthful innocence despite the fact that they were already stealing and shooting up dope is shocking. To gradually watch their lives literally drained out of them as the years progress is a true feat of documentary filmmaking. I know this premise sounds like a real downer, why watch it? Because it's important to see them as imperfect people, humans with a sense of humor and moments of kindness. The cycle of addiction is just so unforgiving. Director John Alpert turns the camera on and follows this trio as they share their experiences, good and bad. It's as simple as that. The beauty of this style is how unfiltered it is. This easily could have been exploitative, but because we get to know them so well, it isn't. Alpert keeping up with them for so many years is an impressive commitment. You can feel the trust they have in the filmmaker. I believe they each feel real pride about the project and their contribution. Each of their personal stories are sadder than the next. The way this documentary started was just brilliant, showing off the drugs as just a minor part in these criminals' lives. But as the years progress, you witness the drugs take over completely. The way Rob talks is just so authentic. You can see deep underneath he is just such a sad soul. Clearly, he never found a reason to change and really live. It's strange at times because with all three of them, I couldn't tell what's real and what's not. For all I know, they could have been completely lying. The standout though was Rob, who was definitely the star in my eyes. Every time he was on camera, I was riveted. Just such a fascinatingly despondent person. John Albert's seminal works One Year in a Life of Crime in 1989 and Life of Crime 2 in 1998 set the standard for the gritty documentaries HBO used to produce back in the day. These works set the tone for addiction documentaries that have become prolific in the age of the internet. These films weren't even on my radar until my grandma recommended this. And I'm glad yet extremely saddened at how perfectly Alpert tells the stories of Freddie, Rob, and Delirious in Life of Crime. The doc gets very dark at times, and I would warn viewers that one section is particularly gruesome. Some may argue Alpert's motives here, but I feel he had compassion and even affection for this trio and this disturbing scene is a fitting, if not tragic, end to their relationship. This documentary is one of the most radical, heavy, experimental productions I've seen in recent years. I can't remember watching a film that touched so close to home and felt deeply personal. It is a character study of people ruined by the disease of alcohol addiction and mostly drug addiction. The camera is never used as a form of social denunciation even as we watch family events and the devastation of the three protagonists slowly unfold. The images are as they are. The suffering, the desperation to get just one more dose of heroin, to examine everything with morbid voyeurism to the point of becoming a fourth main character. You are an observer both external and internal to their story, and at the same time, just like the addiction, Alper meant this experience to be intense and brash, painfully visceral and without escape.